Okay, I wanted to show you this little program that that models kinetics so you can see the difference in plots and, and which are linear and which are not. As I've indicated here, this program models a reaction of the type 2x gives a plus b. And a concrete example of this would be two hydrogen iodides give an H2 and an I2. Okay, so just to show you how this works now. So we put in, we want a new reaction. We can put up to 80 molecules in here. And I'm going to do it at 25 degrees without a catalyst. So we'll just go. All right. And you can see all the X's bouncing around. You can see the A's and the B's uh, increasing. You can see the X's decreasing. And this is at 25 degrees. Here's an actual plot of the number of X's. And you can see it goes down over time. Okay, and we'll just let it run for a while. So actually, when I get ready to, I can go up here to graph. And I can click that. And it will plot this data three different ways. It'll plot it for n equals 0, n equals 1, and n equals 2. Okay, well, that's, I think that's gone long enough. Let's go ahead and, and uh, plot it. Okay, this is the x versus time. This would be the zero order plot. Okay, that clearly is not linear. All right, so that's a zero order. This is the log x versus time. This is the first order, and that one clearly has a curve to it as well. So n is not 0, we know from over here. n is not 1 from over here. This is 1 over x versus time. This looks pretty linear, actually. So very likely, this is a second order reaction. Okay. So let's go back, and, and we're going to start a new reaction here. We're going to put in 80 molecules. Now notice how this one goes down. Sort of a gentle you know, way of doing it. All right, Sort of sloping down like this. Let's bump the temperature up to 35 degrees and watch what happens. Watch how quickly this thing goes down. All right. So remember this? The previous one went out here like this. This one is really, you know, sinking like a stone. So we'll uh, let this go for a little bit. And we'll make a graph. Make all the graphs. We get nonlinear for n equals 0, nonlinear for n equals 1. This doesn't look too bad. That's pretty linear for n equals 2. So again, we conclude that it's a second order reaction. Now, remember how rapidly this went down. The previous one went down like this. This one went down much more rapidly. Let's go back here. Let's do one new one. Again, we'll do 80 molecules of X. And we're going to do it at 35 degrees. And we're going to use a catalyst to make this go even faster. So watch this. Look at that. It just went down almost immediately. I mean, it's almost at zero now. So now we can make our graphs. Yeah, it's, this is nonlinear. This one is again nonlinear. This one is pretty much straight up. That's pretty linear, but you can't really tell much from that. Point is that under these conditions, this reaction goes very rapidly. 